Every day, around 2,700 tons of household waste are delivered and processed in this mechanical biological waste processing plant. The primary purpose of this plant is to generate secondary fuels for operating the customer's power plant. After reception of the waste in two deep bunkers, the waste is conveyed with a delivery crane to the pre-treatment. The delivery crane ensures optimal use of the bunker volume by moving and mixing the waste and by filling the pre-shredder. The remaining waste stream is transported to the intermediate bunker via a conveyor belt. The fully automatic process crane distributes the pre-shredded waste to the 36 drying tunnels, lifts, lowers and cleans the box lids and transports the dried waste after the drying process. The biological drying itself takes place in the drying boxes, where the moisture content of the wet household waste is reduced from around 55% to 30%. This improves the material properties of the waste for the subsequent mechanical treatment. From here, the waste is automatically forwarded to mechanical processing. Material, greater than 50 millimeters, is separated into a heavy and a light fraction using a wind sifter. As a first step in the process, the material passes through a dosing unit. The garbage sieve loosens the material and separates it into two fractions. Ferrous metals are then separated by a metal separator. To obtain a high quality fuel, non-ferrous and glass are sorted out and the amount of PVC in the waste stream is greatly reduced. Among other things, this is done using the fully automatic, sensor-based, red wave sorting technology. The additional recyclable materials, such as metal, glass and plastic, are sold to the recycling industry and used as secondary raw materials. The substitute fuel obtained is fed directly to the company's own power plant via a conveyor system, where it is used as a secondary fuel.